Making a Minecraft server is ridiculously difficult, so props to you if that's what you're trying to learn that today. Based on the web tutorial that I have created here, the first thing that you will need to do is download Java. I'm trying to run Minecraft version 1.14.4, and the best version for that is Java version 8. So go ahead and download Java 8. After you've done that, go to the Minecraft launcher, and then go over to the installations and create a new installation, and then just select Minecraft version 1.14.4 or whichever version you are trying to get. And then hit the server download button right there. What this is going to do is it's going to download the files for a server for 1.14.4 and then drag it into a folder that you've set aside for a Minecraft server. Then open up command prompt, copy the folder path, Type in cd and then right click to paste the folder path. And then type in java-jar server.jar because server.jar is the name of our server. What that will do is it will run the server.jar and populate the folder with a few extra files, one of them being the end user license agreement. And change the false to true. Now you can rerun that command. So it's going to pop up a little bit of UI there and it's going to show you what's going on here. Um, but once it starts saying preparing spawn area, that means it is running. So what you can do is you can open up Minecraft 1.14.4 on your end. Now, if the server is running on your own computer, what you can do is type in the loopback address to connect to it. That looks like 127.0.0.1. And this will connect you to the server that's on your own computer. So look at that. Now, alternatively, if you want other people on your home network to be able to connect to it, what you can do is type in your computer's IP address, which you can get from IP config. And if you want people from all around the world to be able to connect to your server, you will have to go and do port forwarding on your router, which does require access to your router. Now, if you want to add mods to your server, you basically do the exact same thing, but with Forge. So I'm going to go to Minecraft 1.14.4 and install the Forge downloader. Now I'm going to open up another version of command prompt and I'm going to go to my downloads folder that I have downloaded this to and change directory into that. Now this is the forge installer so I'm going to copy the name of that and I'm going to type in java-jar and then the name of that file and that will run the forge installer. Now I'm going to change it to install server because that's what I'm looking to install and I'm going to put that right into my modded YouTube server which is a whole new folder. Okay, now if we were to go into that folder, you can see the libraries folder and a few other things here. You're just mainly looking for the one that says forge. Now you can just rename that to like server.jar and then go into this folder so that you can run that server and then just type in java-jar server.jar now what it's going to do is it's going to crash the same way that it crashed before and it will give us our end user license agreement text but what it's also going to do is it's going to give us mods, um, config, and a few other random things like that. Um, what we're really looking for is this mods folder here. We want to put mods into that folder. So go to CurseForge or wherever you get your mods from and then download something for 1.14.4. And then make sure that you select that it's for Forge. Now take that, copy it, and put it into the mods folder. Then what we're going to do 
is create a client version of Minecraft that will work with that as well, because the Minecraft version that you're running has to have the same mods as your server. So create a new profile, call it whatever, and then select the version 1.14.4, the same version that the server is, and then don't worry about the mod loader version. Now we're gonna add in our own mods into this profile by hitting open folder, and then going into that mods folder. And from here, we will take the same mod that is in our mods folder from the server and put it into the mods folder for that Minecraft profile. And then we can run that and we can also rerun the server. So here's the server and here's the client. Looks like the server was completely successful. Now we just have to load into it. I'm gonna give myself operator permissions. And now I'm gonna to connect to that server. Cool, so now I'm gonna give myself creative and check if I have the lucky blocks. And look at that. All right, I hope you guys learned something from this. Bye-bye.